So, big game last night. It was, uh, what was it all about? No, I thought we, um, it was a good bounce back game for us. So, losing to Anaheim uh, isn't our, wasn't our best effort, I thought. I thought we played well, but we weren't able to like, coach that a lot. And like everyone's been saying, get to the beat. And, uh, last night we started off with Carpenter in front of the net getting a goal of uh, rebound or just a puck bounce out to him. So I thought that was good and um, I thought uh, personally I had a little bit better of a game. I think I had a little bit more energy and my linemates and I had a lot more chemistry. So uh, it was good. I thought we had a really good team effort and uh, we didn't back down at all. We just kept uh, pushing forward and I think we really didn't give Calgary too much. Talk about the offensive support by Lucas Spies on the back end. Yeah, Luca did really well. I thought uh, I mean, he had that ha hammer of a shot there that I was able to get out to him at the point. And, um, I thought he did really well. He was moving the puck well, and uh, he was seeing the ice. So he was making plays happen, and uh, played more than anyone else uh, was actually, could actually see. So I thought he played really well last night. What was the atmosphere like? It was like a seesaw game and everything. Was it kind of like a playoff atmosphere type? Yeah, no, definitely. I thought, uh, I mean, Kelly didn't play a bad game at all. I thought that uh, we were just able to capitalize on our opportunities a little bit more. And, uh, I thought we got a little bit more traffic in front, and I thought Flower played really well. And I think collectively, I mean, uh, we just had a really good effort from all, all 20 of us. Yesterday, you wished the U.S. women's a hockey team good luck and everything. What was your reaction after when they won a gold medal? Oh, we were, we were all the U.S. guys were celebrating and stuff. So I mean, I know a good amount of. Um, I mean, I went to I went to Boston College with uh, Megan Keller, Emily Falls, Maris Group. Uh, uh, girls like that, there's maybe one or two more too that I'm forgetting, but uh, no, it's really cool. I mean, I'm really happy and proud of them. And it's something that I always kind of dreamed about. It would be kind of cool to win an Olympic gold, and uh, their dream has come true, and it's, it's got to be an unbelievable feeling. And to do it against Canada and shoot out, it's, it doesn't get much better than that, honestly. For those who don't know Megan Keller, what type of player is she? Uh, honestly, she's. She's one of the best defensive women's I've ever seen. Uh, she could probably play with us. It's, uh, no, she's a really special player. Uh, I mean, she's what six feet tall. She's she's a force to be reckoned with out there. But she's really smooth skating, uh, puck moving defenseman, great offense, and really sees the ice super well. And I was able to watch her for a couple years when I was at Boston College, and uh, I watched her grow as a player. And she's turned into an unbelievable player. And she did really well last night. And Hillary Knight, she had a pretty slow tournament. She got hot towards the end and everything. Hey, that's that's what matters the most is when you get hot. And uh, when you're hot, you're hot. And she did really well. So I was uh, I was keeping tabs on all of them and stuff, and it was really good to see her do so well. And what is your impression of the Lambert sisters? I mean, they're like the Sedins. What's that? The Lambert sisters. They're like the Sedins of the U.S. women's hockey team. Uh, phenomenal. I mean, you see it. They they know where to find each other out in the ice, and it's uh it's pretty cool honestly to watch them play. All right, thank you. Yeah, of course. Thanks.